Welcome to Code Developer, Day 8, Chapter 8, Structures. So today we are going to study it about, in this session, define structure, create structure variable, access structure, remember using dot operator, array of structures, passing structure to functions, nexted structures. So what is structure? A structure is a collection of different data type that is grouped together under a single variable name for convenient handle. So it is another name is called as it is a collection of heterogeneous data item also. So struct is a keyword of structure. So struct type is a name which identifies the structure. So for example syntax struct structure name of tag name. Here we are using two kind of data members, data type number one, data type number two. For example, struct, so book is a structure name, integer is a data type and pages is a variable data members. Here we are using the data members, uh, pages, book name, author, then price, etc. Example. So book name Java and other name Hunter and pages 467. So continuously it can access, it can storing and accessing the data. So individual structure type variable can be declared as follows syntax. Struct structure name variable 1, variable 2 up to variable number of variables example struct is a keyword so book is a structure name and b1 is a object that is structure variable name so member variable can be accessed using the dot or period operator as follows so dot is a operator which is used for to calling the data members from the structure syntax struct variable name dot member name example example b1 dot pages equal to 400 so b1 is a object name which is stored to which can be calling the data members from the structure by the help of structure variable name and b1 dot price equal to 450 example program write a program that creates the account detail using structure to create the account details using structure here we are defining the structure struct amount is a structure name is a data members and struct amount v is a structure name and v is a structure variable name if you are accessing the data members from the structure means by the help of v is a structure variable for example enter the account details so first one account number that is b dot b is a structure variable so b dot account number then b dot account name and b dot balance we are getting the input by the help of scanner function in each variable we can accessing by the help of the structure variable the next we are printing the data information for the structure first one the getting the information then second one is printing the data the values are b dot account number v dot name then v dot balance then after the total size of the structure so size of if you are using struct amount or uh, size of v also so size of v is also accepted it is used for the size of the structure so how many bytes are occupied in structures The next one, write a program to create student details. So, struct stud is a structure name, is a data members, and b is a structure variable. Here we are getting the input by the help of b dot id, b dot name, b dot mark one, b dot mark two, b dot mark three. Here we are getting three number of marks, including student id and student name 
then so adding three marks so first one m1 m2 m3 three marks are adding and to store total variable that is b dot total then after we are calculate the average b dot average equal to total divided by number of subject so three number of subject so divided by three then we are display the details b dot id b dot name b dot mark one b dot mark through mark two b dot mark three and also we can use uh, b dot total and b dot average if your wishes so in slicing structure how to in slicing are like variables and arrays structure variables can be in sliced at the beginning of the program consider the following program struct employee is a structure name so integer number then character name of 20 how to in slice so struct employee emb1 equal to is a first data item it is a second data item so it is a in slice of data members and directly we are in slicing the data then struct employee emb1 then second variable of the employee structure variable sorry structure name of employee the first data item is student id and student name then array of structures array of structures are defined as a group of data of diff different data types stored in a consequently memory locations with a common variable name example struct employee so it is a data members and is it is a structure variable of size then passing structures as arguments a structure variable can be passed as an argument to another function it is a useful facilities and it is used to pass groups of logically related data items together instead of passing them one by one example so struct record is a st uh, structure name and we are passing the argument that is a record so record is a structure name and f u n is a variable that is we are using the function struct and record it is an argument of structure we are passing the arguments the one argument to another one that is uh, we are passing the information to another one for example struct record and c c is a structure variable so c dot name c dot account number c dot account type then c dot balance we are uh, getting the informations then after we are called the function f u n it is a uh, it is an argument structure argument c so c is a, a variable of structure so after we are calling the informations the informations have to call and to store again the c variable then after we are printing the values from by the help of c is a structure variable c dot name then c dot account number and c dot account type and c dot balance so it is a struct student f u n it is a calling function just we are in slicing before in slicing before in slicing we are getting the value uh, here we are getting the input of the student records in these records is already stored in c structure variable after we are calling that is a f u n is a structure passing arguments it is automatic to call record f u n is the object name of r so r dot name equal to it is automatic to rearranging the data that is already we are getting uh, example suresh uh, in this name is automatic to rename r dot name equal to raja it is automatic to rename then the result is raja uh, then account number 1567 then type r balance 900.00 it is a returning value 
then passing the structure numbers as a parameter to the function. So first type def is a user defined data type which is used to, to store to clone the structure name that is student struct stud so integer roll number character name then float marks so student is a variable of stud void print record of integer it is a function declarations student st it is a cloning of objects that is already we are it is a uh, student is a variable the variable can act another one variable that is st by the help of a uh, type def so type def is called as user defined data type that is cloning from one to another one that is already student is a variable uh, the variable can act as another one variable that is st we can access by the help of st st dot roll number st dot name then st dot marks etc next structure a structure within struct another one structure is called as next of structures the declaration of the embedded structure must appear before the declaration of the outer structure example struct date here month day year then struct account account number name then account type and balance in this structure so struct name structure name and dob is a structure variable of the date structure if you are calling the data by the help of customer dot dob dot month if you are calling the date uh, uh, structure means by the help of customer dot dob dot month for example if you are calling s dot s number s dot s name then s dot dob dot date that is uh, s yes, dot s yes, is a structure variable of stud stud so s yes, dot dob s yes, dob is a structure variable of dob in these two variable we can uh, we can accessing by the help of the structure data items we are getting the input and just we are display the outputs Thank you.